going eight like we go move out the way please don't be a hero bling blow hey guys what's up welcome to my channel it's leia I've had my twist in for about two weeks and they're looking a little rough so you already know it's wash day and today I'm going to be using my L Organics new Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Line to wash in style. This line was designed to provide intense hydration by locking in moisture to every strand and is great for those who have dry thirsty hair. There's five products total but I only purchased three which were the overnight conditioner, leave-in and styling gel and I'll leave some links in the DV on where you can purchase them. Now, I've been hearing mixed reviews as to whether this line is as moisturizing as it claims, so I decided to try it out for an entire month to really get a feel for the products I purchased. And of course, I'm going to keep it 100 like always, so let's get into it. Starting off with the overnight conditioner, this is supposed to restore and provide hydration, prevent split ends, and leave the hair silky and soft. It's to be used before you wash, kind of like a pre-poo if you will, and is recommended that you sleep with it in your hair overnight. It has a light creamy consistency, but it's silky and smooth to the touch. So I applied this onto dry hair section by section and I had zero problems with application. It felt like I was putting a silky lotion onto my hair because it slipped right on and started to soften my hair almost immediately. I also was easily able to finger detangle each section and I know that my hair was in these twists so it wasn't as tangled as it typically would be. But when I used this product weeks before when my hair was extremely tangled, it was able to melt all them tangles out of my hair and I was just living for it. And I know it says overnight, but I don't leave any conditioners in my hair for long periods of time anymore. Typically, I go for 15 to 30 minutes, but every time I use this product, I extended the time to one or two hours. So I don't know how the hair would feel after letting this conditioner sit overnight because hydro fatigue is real. I just went through protein overload a couple months ago and <laughs> listen, sis ain't trying to open up a new can of worms, okay? Now... Whether you use this before or after shampooing is completely up to you because you will get similar results either way. But the logic behind using it as a pre-poo is to add moisture so that the shampoo of your choice doesn't leave the hair feeling completely stripped because this line does not come with the shampoo. I've used it both ways and personally I like to use it as directed because when I used it after shampooing my hair felt like it was OD'd on moisture. It was really soft and mushy especially after following up with the other products but when you Used as directed my hair felt lightly refreshed and here's my hair after washing it felt smooth soft and hydrated and all I'm doing now is parting my hair into sections because I'm doing a wash and go with a bun I'm going to go in with a moisturizing conditioner this is supposed to restore shine lock in moisture and deliver long lasting curl definition it's thick and creamy but still has some slip I didn't have any issues with applying it to my hair, but I had to keep spraying my hair down with water because it felt like the leave-in was sucking up all the water I sprayed previously off of my hair. Curls were also starting to slightly clump together when I noticed this, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but it was just weird to me and I wanted to note that for moisture my hair did feel moisturized but it didn't feel like it was locked in the first time i used the leave-in i didn't seal with an oil to test the lock-in moisture claim and after wearing my wash and go for a day it felt dried out and i learned my lesson every time i used the leave-in i added a gel after so i would highly recommend that you do the same just to make sure that that moisture stays in the hair so guys, this leave-in wasn't my favorite. To me, it wasn't anything special, and I feel like the honey and pomegranate leave-in that Mayel has packs way more moisture, even with the consistencies being completely different. However, this leave-in pairs perfectly with the gel in terms of definition because the leave-in slightly clumps the curls, and then once you use that gel, baby. <laughs> definition is bomb now i'm going in with the styling gel which claims to give great hold and deep hydration it's non-flaking contains no alcohol or car bomber and doesn't leave a crunch this gel is very thick and doesn't have that tackiness that other gels have
But once I applied the gel, my curl started to clump up in big pieces. The definition it was giving off the bat was so great that I had to put in a close-up to show y'all how good these products were clumping my hair. I've never used a gel that clumped my curls together like this. And I feel like the leave-in started off that clumping process and then the gel came in and just showed up and showed out. It was, it was doing the darn thing. I do want to note that it did give me the same feeling I had with the leave-in where it was just sucking up all the product I put on before. And I did notice that my hair dried a lot faster with using these products because of that feeling it was giving me. And I honestly think it's because the leave-in and the gel list glycerin within the first five products. I believe they're like the second or third ingredient in them. I've never used hair products that contain high amounts of glycerin in them, so I truly don't know if my hair responds well or not to glycerin. But if you live in a humid area or your hair doesn't respond well to glycerin, then I would not recommend any of the styling products. I believe the twisting butter that they have also contains glycerin, so just stay away from it altogether if your hair doesn't like glycerin this is not going to be for you sis at the end of the day the end goal was for my hair to feel moisturized did i get maximum moisture from these products no i'm not going to lie and say that my hair wasn't moisturized because it was but i would say that my hair felt more hydrated than anything and believe me there's a difference between the two Honestly, if they would have changed the package to say like hydrating RX or hydration RX, then I would have zero complaints. But because it was so moisture focused, I have to knock off points because I didn't get that deep moisturizing feeling from these products. And I know there are two different lines, but the honey and pomegranate line feels way more moisturizing than this one. This line is definitely more hydrating. But out of all three of the products I've tried this month, I really did enjoy the overnight conditioner and the styling gel. Y'all already know. I don't care too much for the leave-in so if I had to recommend any products to try from this collection I would go with those two and this is what my hair looked like after all the products were applied to my hair just look at the definition and I believe that this is the second day of my wash and go my hair came out super soft and fluffy you can see that I have a lot of frizz but that's because I did this wash and go when it was very humid out but I'm not even mad at that because you can still see the definition the styling gel really defined my curls so well it looks super natural almost as if i didn't have any product in my hair at all which i love so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up drop a comment down below letting me know if you've tried this line out and make sure that you subscribe to my channel go ahead hit the button right now and while you're down there make sure you turn on the notification bell so you never miss when i post another video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace yeah going eight like we go Move out the way, please don't be a hero Bling, blow, ooh, she no skateboard, please